time for our next pin video. Come on in. Let's go. Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pens. I'm Larry, and this is episode 95. I tell you, I've just been really, really busy lately, and uh, I just got a lot of things to review, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get it all in order. So uh, I've spent most of today working on uh, different uh, items to review today. At this very instant, I'm going to be reviewing uh, some notebooks that Marimon Nemesign. And they were sent by Mishka Bilikova. And that's from uh, Bureau Direct from London, the UK. Special thanks to you for sending these uh, notebooks so I can review. They were sent free of no charge, for me to do an honest review, as I always do, on any and all products I receive from whoever. All right. But uh, the notebook that uh, I was sent was one that uh, I don't have a whole uh, lot of uh, exposure to. I've seen it in one fountain pen store here in the States, but that's it. So when I saw it on their side, I'm saying, wow, there's that notebook. That's the one I'm really interested in. So let's get on with the review and I'll tell a little about this notebook. But first of all, what does this name mean? Well, here's what it means. The name Nemesign comes from the name of the ancient goddess of memory. So, if you're like me, we're learning something new every day. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's start with the cover of this notebook. Uh, it's a, has a, it's a slightly textured cover, front and back. And it is flexible. It's got a very nice feel to it. And here's the back cover as well. So you have some durability there that's going to really help you with this notebook. You have the name right here of the notebook. And uh, down here, Japanese, but it's a seven millimeter line. Then when you open the book up, you have the yellow page, and that's how they all come. I believe I'm correct on that with the name once again. And uh, here in Japanese, it gives you some instructions about the notebook. But... I can't read the notebook, and the instructions are like, you know, uh, you may be at a meeting at the office, and you're doing a lecture, and this notebook comes in handy, or you may be taking some notes at school, at work, wherever. Again, it comes in handy. The notebook is A5 size, and it fits uh, fine in your briefcase. So, moving on, the, uh, the paper is, uh, I wouldn't say white, uh, maybe an off-white, in the light it looks kind of a cream color, but it is white, but an off-white, at least that's what I'm getting out of it. And the paper really feels nice and smooth. You know, I could just tell just by the way this paper feels. It's quality paper. And for all your fountain pen people out there, quality paper is a must in your book. I assume that, at least in my book, it is. In the past, when I used to buy paper, I just bought any paper. 
But now, since I've learned and stepped up in the game, I'm really particular about my paper. With that said, I have a, vari a variety of choices that I may pick this one or that one or this one or the other one, but it has to be quality paper. So, we'll go into some measurements of the book and we can zoom in on this book. Here it is. It's a seven millimeter line spacing. And at the top of the book you have a title, the date and the month you can put over here, and whatever title you choose. And I'll show you, I've done a sample in the book to show you how the paper holds up to ink, various inks and nibs. That way it, you're getting first-hand look about this paper. The width, 151 millimeters or 5.94 inches. The height is 209 millimeters or 8.23 inches. Like I said before, A5 size. Overall thickness is a 9.8 millimeters or 0 0.39 inch. The paper color is white, but like I said again, it looks a little off-white. It looks really good. It doesn't blind you when you look at the paper. The weight of the paper is a 80 G's. Good paper. That's what I was waiting for. And in this notebook, and I believe in all these notebooks, all the uh, pages are perforated pages, so that's really neat. They can just tear out right there on, where the perforation is right along the side. That way you don't have to just tear up your notebook if you need to take one out, write a note, hand it to somebody, or pass some other information needed to somebody else. just comes right out. And the book has 80 sheets. So, now let's get to uh, how the paper held up when uh, using different inks and nib sizes and pens, okay? Okay, on top, I did the Delta for the uh, title, Delta Dos Vida Federico. It's an 18K gold nib, broad nib, and Sunday, March 5th, 2017. Comes in handy. And I uh, already said what the uh, word stands for, the Godness of Memory. That was pretty slick. And here's some inks and pens that I've used. I've used the uh, Monteverdi Sapphire, and the pen was Nimison with a broad nib, and the ink for the pen was a Monte Blanc Mystery Black. Another pen was the Fiber Castell medium nib. The ink was Noodler's Revolution Blue. And then one of my nice wet gusher pens is the Vanscotti Homo Sapien 23K medium nib. And the ink was Sailor's Sutton. And then here's a an ink that you hear a lot of controversy about when it's put to paper. The pen is a preppy medium nib, and the ink is Noodler's Base State Blue, one of my favorites. And then I did the quick brown fox, jumped over the lazy dog. And the reason for all this is to see how the color comes out on paper, and it did real well. 
it, it shows the actual color of the, the ink you use. On some papers I've seen, I, I get uh, different kind of results from it. So let's see what it looks like on the back of the paper. You with me? Here we go. Let your eyes gaze upon it. The first thing I would look for out of all these inks and pens and nibs would be the base state blue. Nothing. No bleed through. Great. Show through. Very little. Now, can you use this page of rod on? Certainly. I would. There's no problem to use this page. This book handled very well. And, uh, you know, I, I am totally impressed. First time I've encountered this book actually in my hands. And they have many other sizes to choose from. A whole lot more. And I'll tell you how you can get yours. Let me show you another notebook they sent me. This is the Rhodia Staple Bound. And uh, the Rhodia Color. And it comes in many colors. This comes in several different colors. I'll just name a few. It comes in reds, greens, blues, purples, orange. You got a bunch of choices of colors. Now the paper. It's a cream colored paper. I like the paper. I like the feel of this paper. The weight of the paper, 90 G's. So it's uh, right up there for all you fountain pen fanatics that love that good fountain pen paper quality. There it is. And you know, I'm pretty sure most of us are pretty much well known of the quality of the Rhodia. Uh, but this is also for the ones that are just getting into fountain pens and into paper. This is some great paper. You won't go wrong. Now this uh, notepad has 70 sheets, staple top, and it's made in France. And I took the liberty as well as to do a writing test on this to see how it holds up. Well, you know, 90 G's is going to be good paper. So, let's see what we did here. If you're looking at the back of this, you see no show through at all. So it did well. And let me tell you some of the inks and pens. I used the uh, Vansconti Homo Sapien 23K medium nib. And the ink I used was a Sailor Sutton. Then the next one was the Faber-Castell medium nib. The ink was the uh, Noodler's uh, Revolution Blue. And the next one was the Nemos. Nemeson. I'm sorry, the Nemeson with a broad nib. And the ink is the Monte Blanc Mystery Black. Another pen was the uh, Coveco Sport medium nib with the uh, Aurora Blue ink. Another pen I used, another nice gusher, was the Pelican M1000 18K medium nib. And the ink was the uh, Pelican Brilliant Green. Last but not least, the Preppy came in with a medium nib. And the ink on this one, you guessed it, Noodler's Base State Blue. My favorite. I'm, I'm a blue freak. Love blue, 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 blue. And that is one of them. And, uh, you know, there's always a big controversy there that Noodler's uh, doesn't go well with a lot of paper because it bleeds through. And, and you know, it, it does tend to bleed through some. Uh, on my Lorskern 1917 bullet journal, there's a little bit of bleed through. Not bad. But I'll get to that in another review because one of my reviewers was asking what ink and pen I used on it because he used on his Lois Sturm 1917 bullet journal and he was really unhappy because it 
bled through, so I'll have to check my records and do an update review on it and show you how mine's holding out. Mine has no problems. Back to this. The notebooks, both of them, handle very well. And uh, they took a, a lot of uh, great pens that uh, I threw at it. A lot of great inks. So, yeah. The paper is definitely, without a doubt, worth buying. Now, where can you pick this up? Well, you can go to the Brewer Direct in London and go check out their site. I'll have it, a link, on the video here because they have a lot of great products out there. Products that I've never seen before and that, uh, you know, if you're in the fountain pen world, you're going to find a lot of things out there that's going to get your attention. And uh, the, uh, the link to that is www.bureau, B-U-R-E-A-U, direct, D-I-R-E-C-T, dot, C-O, dot, U-K. So, I really hope that you got something out of this video. I know I did. It was a learning process for me uh, in which I, I love doing I love getting products of ones I'm aware of and know of and the ones I, I'm not aware of and never heard of or never even seen I, I like to do the research and put it all together yeah it's a lot of work but at the end I, I feel good about it and uh, I hope you uh, check out Viewer Direct site. It's worth that. See what they have. See what you like. See about these notebooks I just reviewed. You know the quality of the notebooks because I just told you about it and I just showed you a writing sample on the paper. So, we know it works. Well, I think that's going to do it for the uh, notebooks that I have today. And I've got others coming on the way. So, now it's time to say goodbye to all my fountain pen family. And again, as always, thank you for joining me on Larry's Fountain Pens. Until our next episode, be safe and don't text. Talk to you later.